the first episode amazing i have to say amazing one of the greatest setups i've seen in anime period it's very very nice like kind of like what <laughs> like it's except for moroku because you know <laughs> that was my guy okay uh but for other reasons <laughs> What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jay, and so I have a, a quick video today that I just wanted to talk about. We're gonna be talking about Rising of a Shield Hero. Now, um, I just want to probably like get this out of the way as quickly as possible. Just some of my favorite isekais, okay? Um, no, unfortunately, Sword Art is not on that list. I have yet to see uh, the new season uh, at all. I've seen a couple of episodes because Heavenly has been watching them and I'll sit down and I'll watch and I'll be like, oh, this is interesting. But uh, just to preface that, um, the first episode of Shield Hero, amazing. I have to say, amazing. One of the greatest setups I've seen in anime, period. It's very, very nice, like, kind of like, what? <laughs> like, it's, it's one of those things where, okay, so we'll talk about it in a second, but I do want to, like, give an idea of, like, some of my favorite isekais. Um, so when I was younger, um, I'm an old head ass. Uh, so when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of stuff on Toonami. So there was Trigun, Cowboy Bebop, uh, Big O. Uh, what else did we used to watch? Oh, and of course, how could I forget one of the classics, Inuyasha. Now I would have to say Inuyasha was not um, a shonen isekai. It was, which is an action-based, you know, world. I guess world trend there has to be like it's just travel to another world I think is like the direct kind of like correlation so um of course it follows Kagome and then her going back into feudal Japan where there's demons and fucking humans and all sorts of it's just all kinds of crazy shit going on okay so what made this one dope was it was I I consider it a romance like easily it's definitely definitely a romance hidden behind action and that's that's basically what it is so and that was one of my first like kind of jumps into the genre and i just loved it so much like it was just something that i always wanted to kind of like experience i guess i could say like i i traveling to another time period to another world with the knowledge that you have now or being able to possess different type of powers when you go in. like obviously everybody wants to live out their their type of you know anime fantasies or whatever um but this was just kind of one of those things where like every character was badass except for the humans like the humans were trash except for moroku because you know <laughs> that was my guy okay uh but for other reasons <laughs> essentially that was where i had gotten started and then uh several anime later and you kind of just discover what it is that you like and things that you don't like and then you discover sword art online which uh nothing wrong with sword art online i mean there's a lot wrong but i mean it's just not one of my favorites and it's only because like watching the first half of the first season and i was and, like right up until where they got like the little orphan girl or whatever the computer program and i was just like this why is this necessary why is she here i don't understand why we have this going on at all uh please get rid of this thing and it was just just one of those things where it just felt super unnecessary for me and then the rest of the show kind of collapsed because when you watch so many anime plots and you see so many things that go right and the things that are addressed correctly you kind of just don't tolerate anything else it's almost like being able to only watch one anime and you're just like oh man this is great but it's actually a bad show but you wouldn't know because you've never watched a good show so it's just like ugh, ugh. so it's it's just kind of cringy uh, but anyway, aside from all that, uh, yeah, Inuyasha is probably one of my like top, 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 top favorites. And then right after that, I would have to say it's Log Horizon, which I've talked about Log Horizon on my channel before, like hinted here and there, and I've never made a real dedicated video about it. But Log Horizon, I would have to say, then like Heavenly got me onto this. Um, <laughs> Log Horizon, I would have to say, is the better, deeper version of Sword Art Online. It takes kind of like the same concept of obviously being stuck in this world, we can't transfer back home, blah 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 blah, we can't log out of this game, but it takes it 
and like kind of runs with it and does more of a party system type of thing and it also tells more of the politics side of things which I enjoy and the actual character interactions which I definitely enjoy instead of just one character he's God at the beginning and then he just just smacks everybody at the beginning like that's it like okay that's great that's its own thing but I don't really care for that whereas in log horizon it's kind of just like everybody's almost on an even playing field except for shiro and his party of course uh, because you know they're at the debauchery tea party <laughs> so uh but that's that's definitely a show you guys should check out if you are into any like isekai and like video games and stuff like that and there's no game no life and like uh, all these other ones that i don't really care for but um not to say that they're not great but whatever i mean that's not what i'm talking about today but definitely uh check that one out so as i was watching log horizon i was like wow this gives me kind of an anti-sao vibe where it was more so like i said about the politics and more about the characters and living in this world and existing and like trying to carry on that world as appropriately as possible so one of my favorite things about uh, let's just throw this reference in here um some of the previous star wars films a lot of people are just like oh we don't really fuck with the prequels blah blah blah, blah. the prequels are trash but then when you look at some of the other ones like those are also kind of trash but like whatever anyway the thing that i liked about those movies is the world building the world building i feel like is just as important as flushing out your main character because i want to believe that this genre of escape from another world is actually about the world that this character has escaped to or ended up in or escape escaping from so one of the other ones i really like is re-zero now the way re-zero does their kind of world building is completely different um they're essentially episodes where subaru is interacting with this entire world but also through his deaths and his experiences he interacts with these characters on multiple occasions so we get to see different sides of every character on different episodes so one episode he'll he'll like meet this merchant and the merchant will be like oh well fuck off kid you don't have any money and then so he'll die and he'll respawn and then he'll have to go through that event again so instead of interacting with this character the same way he'll be like oh hi i have this much money is there anything and then the shopkeeper is nice oh you said money first oh i got you fam listen let me show you my everything so it's it's nice to see that characters are getting flushed out in different ways in that show and so we get amelia we get ram we don't necessarily get ram as much just because she's just a duller version of her sister i guess um we get a lot of like the the like main wizard dude it's been like two years since i've seen this show so i can't remember and we get like a lot of like belted geese and a lot of like the lore of the show and all of these other people which is great i love it which log horizon does almost to a t it almost does the exact same thing except without the dying and respawning but there is dying and respawning but anyway the point is rising of a shield hero has been great not just building the world from the beginning like it almost seems like that's a focus like in shield hero it's become like okay here's your main character and here's how the world is reacting to him by him existing the world itself is already built up in this infrastructure in this place that he just happened to fall into and everybody's like Ugh, this, this fucking guy like in comparison to when the main character kind of shows up and they're the hero and they're like Oh my god you're the savior and everything although the show is slowly turning into that over time because of all of the like nice deeds that he does and stuff like that but i also like that he's just very relatable he's an asshole like he's just doesn't want to help these people at all but he just does it to his own benefit like for his own benefit and i think that's probably one of the better parts of the show is the fact that him just existing and like being accused of rape and like oh he's not he can't attack and he's got slaves and all this other stuff it's like holy crap like if somebody described this anime to you you'd be like i definitely want to watch this because it doesn't take the kirito factor where it's like oh you're a beater like <laughs> like and you're just god tier at the beginning and it's just like everybody praises you and all these women want to be around you and stuff it in shield hero this guy is the scum of the earth it's just like no nobody wants to be around you the only people that want to be around you are people that you hired to be around you and then they're really just trying to figure out a way to double cross you and then the other people that you hired are slaves so yeah there's that 
but you don't mistreat them so they don't want to like murder you in your sleep or anything so very very early on we got an understanding of what this world is like but not so much our main character because our main character is really one type of person but the world is shifting him into another before we even got to learn about him originally which could be a good and a bad thing i guess you could say but it's very interesting because when you look at his position and you look at like oh what would i do if i was in that position yes i would definitely react like this yes i would definitely want to fuck over as many people as possible uh, absolutely there is absolutely no way like this entire world hates me because of this because i can't attack like what how outrageous is that like i've been set up from the day i i got here like yeah no fuck you guys but he still somehow manages to fulfill his duties as shield hero and protect people like during these like large scale like raids and stuff like that but really in actuality if it was me i would have just said everybody no fuck you guys i'm going to get to level 100 the best way i can and then after that i'm just gonna chill like i don't i don't care i'm just gonna hit it rich and i'm just gonna live in a palace somewhere and i'm just gonna figure it out so that would have been my response but you know and it it kind of takes our our inner like thoughts about like wanting to be more selfish like as humans we want to do more for ourselves than we do other people like that is just something that everybody thinks about from now and then and this anime takes that and runs with it because you're put in a circumstance where that's your only option so but i mean that's what makes it different to me i i enjoy the show because it feels different because of the main character's response and because this world is ever evolving around him and just the way everything kind of interacts with him by not liking a character at the beginning you're kind of just like yeah how is he gonna get out of this whereas when you watch watch re-zero and you're like i kind of like this subaru character until he starts doing dumb shit and you're like i i really don't like this guy he just continues to do dumb shit i just no and then you have sao where it's like oh at the beginning you're supposed to like this character and he just gets more and more annoying after you know more seasons pass but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below do you guys have a favorite isekai or a favorite travel or escape from another world type shows um mine still stands like inuyasha is going to be at the top uh just because i just nostalgia kind of kicks in and then after that is Lost horizon re-zero and now shield hero is on there so you know i just want to know what you guys think um are there any particular ones that you care for more or ones that you absolutely don't like or any tropes or anything like that like i'm sure obviously this is very polarizing for a lot of people who like sao and who don't like sao but you know i want to know what you guys think down in the comment section uh, make sure to give today's video a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new um, I try to post, every, uh, you know, all the time now, but uh, make sure to turn those notifications on. And this has been your boy Jay, and I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.